welcome back to Thirsty Thursday. Today we are talking about our upgraded one gallon wine from fruit kit. Perfect! And we are drinking Pinot Noir. Alright, so this kit is fairly comprehensive. It is. We have two kits that are they're very similar. One's just called the wine from fruit and one's an upgraded wine from fruit. And they have pretty much the same stuff in them with one very big difference. All right. This guy. And that, I feel like that's a big difference. I agree. So let's talk about that first. So this kit is going to come with a mini auto siphon. Mm -hmm. And for those of you that don't know, a mini auto siphon or auto siphon in general is what is used to move your wine from one container to another. You can do it with other methods, but an auto siphon is going to be the easiest method. If you put it in, in, in your bucket or your carboy, whatever you're doing, whatever you're moving it from, and you do two nice pumps, it creates a prime and it just does what it's supposed to do. Mm -hmm. And that will be used in conjunction with this tube. So you just attach it to the top and you're ready to go. And it's a very tight attachment. It is. A uh, tip is to get it running under warm water and that will help to make it a little bit looser. So this is a two gallon bucket with a grommeted lid, nice homebrew Ohio logo on there and that is going to be used to make your wine. It's your primary fermenter. And then we now your have secondary fermenter. our secondary fermenter. So first the primary and then your secondary one gallon glass jug. To be using this, you're gonna have you're gonna have your rubber stopper, okay? And it also comes with a three-piece economy um, airlock. And the same airlock fits in the, um, the top of the lid for the grommet. So you use the same airlock in your primary and your secondary, but you also get the rubber stopper for the secondary. I think this is a really interesting piece that they include in it as well. You've got your nylon straining bag, and that is to hold any of the fruit or pulpy kind of pieces that you're going to be using in your winemaking process so that you can keep it all together and it makes it so much easier to go from your primary to your secondary. Along with that, you're going to have my very favorite, we knew that was gonna have to recipe be Recipe book. The winemaker's recipe book. And in here, you're going to have, how many different recipes? My guess is 80. Uh, oh, there's a hundred. I should have known that. hundred, that kind of makes sense, right? But it will tell you to put all the pulp in a straining bag or put all of the fruit in a straining bag. And, and over and over and over again in these recipes, you're going to see straining bag. So um, these can also be purchased separately. So if you wear it out, um, this is very easily replaced. But it's a key component to the winemaking process. Do you want to replace it every after every use or is that something you can clean and sanitize it? You can clean and sanitize okay. it. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, but you're going to find that every one of these recipes is made for a one gallon kit. So there's no math, there's no ratios, there's no subtraction, adding, whatever. Um, you just can use this and let's, here we go. You can go from a fire thorn wine, a dandelion wine, black currant, coffee wine, tea wine, corn, corn wine, <laughs> crab apples, melon, onion, orange. Um, and then they have, this one has a, a fantastic mead recipe in it that I've used, strawberry wine that we've used out of here. I believe we even did the, the peach. Yes, the peach was out of here. So it's it's very comprehensive, but there's some really kind of strange ones, even tomato. Hmm. I, I had someone in the store one time looking for tomato wine recipe, and I'm like, I, I have your book for you. Cool. If you didn't want to do a one gallon, you could multiply this up, but I love that this is exactly what you need for this. We also send you a little additional piece of paper and that is just talking about what the equipment is and what it's called in case you're a new winemaker and then kind of what your step one which is your preparation your step two which is your um, secondary fermentation and your step three which is your st stabilizing we are going to be including a pretty hefty packet eight ounces of easy clean and so this stuff is a really solid cleaner for 
all types of equipment, but it'll clean anything in this kit. And it's a no rent, which is nice. And we also have a whole spectrum of different chemicals that we're going to be adding to our wine. So we have Camden tablets, and these are going to be used to get rid of any wild yeast that might be in your brew. We have an acid blend, which obviously changes the acidity of the wine. We have potassium sorbate, which is going to be your stabilizer. Then we have pectic enzyme, which is going to aid in fermentation, especially because you're going to have all that natural fruit. And then finally, a yeast nutrient. Um, because, you know, like we just said, some of these guys are going to be a little bit harsh. You know, fermenting tomatoes, maybe, or um, fermenting crab apples. I mean, you think about, like, those profiles. So with a nutrient, or they're gonna, that yeast is going to keep you know, on eating and creating that alcohol. And speaking of yeast, last but not least, I'm oh. a poet and I didn't know it. All that. <laughs> Premier Classique. And we include not only one packet, but three. And so typically for a one gallon batch, I mean, this is more than you need for your one gallon batch. This is multiple batches. Yeah, that would be at least three, ba three batches of wine to get you started. So, I mean, this is a very, very comprehensive kit, and I think you're going to find it um, very helpful. Uh, once you have the main part of the kit, if you wanted to have multiple batches going at the same time, especially if you're doing mead, you know, then you're just talking about buying another primary and secondary, and then you can keep things going. You can. Have you ever had dandelion wine? I haven't. No. I've seen a bunch of people making it's it. It's really popular, especially this time of year. I don't know how your yard looked, but, you know, <laughs> ours did. And we had the kids go out and get pick the dandelions with us when they were little. And you know, it takes like a, a bajillion dandelions approximately because you're pulling Approximately all, a bajillion. Approximately. You're pulling all those little leaves off. Mm -hmm. So to get any quantity of... Dandelions, yeah. Like it's unbelievable. And then to find a place that hasn't been sprayed. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because you also don't want toxic dandelions. Yeah, that would be bad. That, that is, don't do that. Thank you so much for watching, and if you are interested in purchasing our upgraded one gallon wine from fruit kit, you can find that information in the description below or on our website, homebrewohio.com. Thanks, and see you Cheers. next time. Cheers.